Hey guys, Wars here. Welcome to the Tuesday Tips with Aeon Art. So basically today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a paintbrush stroke effect. Basically we're just gonna add the paintbrush, uh, I mean just a, a stroke of a paintbrush on something. For now we're just gonna add it on this part, like I just made this for example. Basically just, there's some letters and it's a really like, Paintbrush are really useful for ground shadows. So after this shot, I'm just gonna add like a brush paint, a brush stroke basically. So yeah, let's get into it. So you can do it in pretty various methods. I sometimes you can use some pictures, like some samples of the internet. Um, you can use this or like pretty much any sample from the internet. If you go on on Google and just type brush stroke sample or brush stroke and pretty much everything like that. Or what you can do is open Photoshop. You open a new um, new project. You remove this and you add another layer, like a empty layer. You remove the background and then you just um, go on your paint brush tool and you can and you just go download some brushes for like doing some various style of brushes. So for example, now we're just gonna do like a classic the black stroke for this so if I go there and just do that I'm just gonna get this but I'm not gonna take this one I'm gonna take another one okay so now we pretty much did what we wanted to have so here it is like a simple ready paintbrush and stuff um, so yeah okay now we just gotta go and save it you go to save and then you go to PNG and you just name it whatever you want like um, brush paint stroke I don't know where the K is since my tripod is on my face so okay here you go okay so now we have a PNG of this picture so now we just, what we're gonna do is just go back on Vegas and um, here you go and so now we just go into um, the picture brush paint stroke we wanted to add it on the Z when the Z pops up. So now we pretty much do whatever you want to do, like such as animation and the size of it. For now, we're just gonna do this pretty much. We're just gonna make it smaller because everything is really small on this picture. So here you go. We're just gonna make it like, here you go. That's gonna look good. Here you go. That, that seems nice. And now we're gonna add some multiple masks and a mask. So first one I'm just gonna make gonna put it there, 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 and here. And the other one I'm gonna put it and there. Okay, the thing is we just need to animate them now. So what we're gonna do is just for example I'm just gonna drop them here. That there, we're just pretty much gonna take the, these, and we're gonna take each dot because you need to. You be this is really important. You go to the arrow so you can have control of each point you want to have control. So here you just go here and you go here, and if you have more like example, if you have on this keyframe you have four dots and on this one you have five dots, it won't do an animation since um, you added like a dot and, and it wasn't supposed to be there. So yeah. Then we're just gonna take this one and we're gonna take this one. So now if we will look uh, rapidly, we're just gonna see this. Wait, okay. Anyway, I'm just gonna remove some stuff. Um, like this, for example. We're just gonna have this. See, this is the animation we just did. But the thing is, to make it smoother, we just you can just take the um, mid mid keyframe, pretty much there, and this one, and just make them put it there. Just make them closer as they want the other ones. So. So here we go. Um, so we just did the animation. Now with everything with it, with it, it's just gonna look like um, what I'm gonna render. So I'm just gonna render this, and 
yeah that, that won't be long so yeah give me well i'm gonna be back and just render that so yeah all right so the render is pretty much finished so this is pretty much what it looks like so yeah this is pretty much looking good uh to be honest it was really like a quick thing that i did before i just really did a quick setup before actually doing the pen brush but um yeah i really did it like in less than 30 minutes or something so yeah that's pretty much looking good in my opinion so let's watch that let's watch that again i'm sorry i don't know how to speak anymore so yeah this is pretty much how you do the animation the brush stroke animation this is that was the pretty much a tip for um so yeah that was the brush animation um uh, so yeah, this is how you do the brush stroke animation on Vegas or any anything else. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Peace.